Hi, I'm Liv, and today we're doing a full face of Too Faced Cosmetics. I have them my eyeshadow, it's just my typical wings. I never change this, so if you want to see how I do this, because I did use the Too Faced palette, very much going with the theme of this video, I just thought it'd be quite boring to watch, because I always do it, so go check out like, any of my other makeup videos, because I always do the same eye look. And let's get started. So I'm going to start off with a primer, and the primer I'm going to go in with is the Major Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I really like this, I think it's such a nice primer, and yes, I have the big version, this was like a limited edition version they brought out ages ago. I wish they brought this out again because it's got 65 milliliters, which is so good, I think the normal one has like 30. I think this is such a good product. I love the size of this, it's what I get really annoyed about it not being available anymore. I really think they should bring back that a limited edition version because it's just... It's just so good for money. I like this primer. I don't see a lot of people talk about it, but I personally love it. I think it's such a good primer. It's moisturizing, whilst it also, for me, it's kind of tacky. Not tacky where it's like the Hydra Grip or the Power Grip from e.l.f., but in a way that you know your makeup is gonna stick very well to it. I, I know the way that this finishes on my skin and the finish that it gives on my foundations, and it's amazing. It, Honestly, I've never had any problems with it before. Next, we're gonna go in with a foundation. And I do have two Too Faced foundations. One is at my flat, um, so I can't use that one. And that one's really good. It's the matte Born This Way. Honestly, cannot say anything bad about it. And the one I'm gonna be using today is the classic Born This Way foundation, the traditional original one. I have one in the shade Swan. I love this. And I just wanna say, Too Faced packaging, oh my God. It's amazing. There's just something about it. It's so feminine and so girly. I just love it. It's really real fancy. I love the frosted gloss. And I mean, all the products are really, really cute. And I think that's just something that I love about Too Faced Cosmetics. Before I do foundation, I am gonna do a lip plumper. So I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I like this. I'm gonna use this. And um, yeah, I use this before I do my makeup anyway, so I'm going to wax some of this on. Again, I love the detailing. I mean, around the lid especially, there's like, look, you can see there's lots of detailing and it's just, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I put quite a lot on, so see what happens. <laughs> okay, on with foundation. So yeah, with the Born This Way foundation, I'm just going to shake this up and then I'm going to pump a pump on the back of my hand. It's quite a small amount comes out, so I'm going to do two pumps. Look at that coverage. Well, oh, that is super pretty. Look at that. It's not like cake face either. It's just nice coverage. It's not like it looks like a mask yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> it just it sits quite nice on the face, like especially in person. Oh, look at that. It's just such nice coverage. I love it. I cannot lie, I really like this foundation. And I always have, like I've never really had any problems with this foundation. I think it sits really nice. And um, I, I think it's really nice coverage. It's pretty full coverage. And I'm just gonna take a bit more cause I need a little bit more on my forehead. I think it's really nice, it's really full coverage. I just, I like it a lot. And when I say it's full coverage, I don't mean that it's like cake face because, you know, we all have those foundations that are literally like a mask. This is not like a mask in the slightest. It sits really nicely on the face. Okay, that is how the foundation is looking. It, in my opinion, looks so nice. It's glowy, it's dewy, it's not oily in the slightest. It just sits in a really nice way. It's really pretty. And it's not like it's really yellow or anything. A lot of foundations, in my opinion, can be really yellow toned. And I just like this. I just think it's such a nice finish. It's really pretty. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is concealer because Too Faced doesn't have any cream contour or bronzer or highlighter or anything. So I'm gonna have to go in with concealer next. And then I'm gonna go with all the powder products because that is what I have from Too Faced. I have got the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this concealer. I have mine in the shade Cloud, which is the lightest shade. It's just such a nice concealer. I just think personally that 
This concealer, I I just think personally, I don't know why I'm so dramatic then. This concealer is a concealer I would never get through, honestly. It's got 15 milliliters of product. It's just such a good concealer. It's such a good concealer and it's such a big concealer. It's just, it's so good. I didn't have to re-dip then. I just used the same amount that I had on the, on the sponge. I'm now gonna take my sponge by Coco Cosmetics and just blend this all out. People constantly say that Too Faced is like out of the game, like they're not really a brand which people talk about, they're kind of falling off. I personally disagree and agree. I feel like Too Faced's like relevancy in the beauty community is falling. However, I feel that would just be solved if they actually brought out something that was really, really popular. So I feel like if they did cream products, I feel like they would just go back up there in like, the beauty world but they haven't done cream products which i feel like a lot of brands have done i mean most brands have delved into that i mean one of the reasons charlotte tilbury is so popular so i've got something in my eye just give me like two ticks for a second but one of the reasons charlotte tilbury is so popular is because of her cream products because people like them and you know they're a, they're a thing that's popular right now and people really want to try them there are just so many brands that go into cream cream contour, cream blush sort of area of makeup. And that really can help you blow up. I know they have released the brown eyeliners, which I think will do quite well, but I also think the brown eyeliner trend has kind of gone. So I do think that they should honestly come out with cream products. Like if they wanted to like elevate themselves back up to where they were, I really think that would help. Not that they're not like a good brand anymore. People really love them still. I love them still. I think they're an amazing brand. Their packaging honestly just gets me. They're one of the best packaged brands ever. They just look so beautiful. Next, we're gonna do peach powder. I've got to say, I really love that concealer. I mean, look, it's so brightening, full coverage, but not cakey. It's just so nice. My powder I've got is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I love this. I mean, look, it's just super cute. And I actually find that I don't want people, I don't want to encourage people to eat this, okay? But this tastes nice. See, the thing is, when you do your face and you're powdering your face down, sometimes a bit of powder can end up on your lips or your mouth, etc. And you do end up breathing it in a little bit. And this does taste like peaches. I just want to say that now. I don't know how or why, but it does, okay? It does. Look, it's got a little, like, lid on it. And then you just pop the lid up and all your powder is inside. I just want to say I am going to be using something that I will be, be using... I will be using in the testing new makeup. However... I did not use this for the whole of you my powder so i'm going to be using it now to show you my thoughts on it so this is the trig Royal powder puffs i've been using these for a while now i really like these and that's why i'm going to use this to do my powder um but yeah as i said i forgot to do it in that video <laughs> so yeah so i've got a bit on the back of my powder puff i'm just going to tap some off because people say that's what you're meant to do so i'm just going to do that and then we're going to go under my eyes I'm just pressing it in as you can see and i really like these i think they're really nice oh my god look how blurring that is that is insane you go that is the difference right now this is all airbrushed i love it and that is a combination of the powder and the trig well sponges um sponges powder puffs I love this powder. It is honestly amazing. This used to be my go-to powder for my birthday makeup. And I just, there's something about this powder. Nobody talks about it because the packaging can be a bit annoying with like the lid. I personally love that. It means there's no mess, but look at it. It's blurring, like crazy blurring. I love this powder. I think it's really good. Really good, like just in general for every day but even going out it, it's just amazing and people used to talk about it back in the day but people don't talk about it anymore i really think it's really good Too Faced is becoming a brand which is massively underrated i'm just saying amazing i love it packaging once again is gorgeous and it's just really brightening and it's not crazy mattifying it doesn't feel heavy or anything on the face it just blurs like crazy i just love this amazing product 10 out of 10. Next, we have contour and bronzer and blush and highlighter. So the reason I say all of that is because I have got a palette. So I've got a palette and a 
bronzer in a in a pan so i've got the natural face palette from them and this is how it looks it's just gorgeous as you can see and then i've also got a bronzer which is the Too faced soleil chocolate bronzer so i'm gonna show you this i just i love the packaging but sometimes it's a bit hard to open <laughs> you've got nails on so this is the chocolate soleil bronzer it's just a really nice warm shade pretty nice and then we've also got Natural Nudes palette, which you get a real nice mirror. This is a massive mirror. And these are the shades. I think if you're gonna go for a Too Faced Cosmetics product for the best value for money, I think this is probably your best bet. It is, I'm pretty sure about 30 quid. And you get a blush, two blushes, two highlighters, and two bronzers. Amazing product. And it's just really good for your money if you wanted something that was a bit cheaper from Too Faced and you wanted to get basically everything you could use a whole face palette if you want more of a glowy contour they do have shimmery contours in here like shimmery bronzers that's these two shades here or you can use a matte bronzer which is this solo bronzer i think i'm going to use this because i haven't used this in a long time so i'm going to whack this on my face so i'm going to go in with the shade sunny honey which is this bronzer here and i'm also going to take a little bit of this one which is tropic like it's hot I've had this for honestly years and I'm surprised that the shade names haven't rubbed off because on my um, eyeshadow palette the names have rubbed off pretty quickly and I only got that at Christmas and this I've had for years and all the names are still intact. I'll take Sunny Honey on a little bronzer brush, contour brush actually. Well this is strange, I haven't done powder bronzer in a little while. Quite pretty. I'm going to blend it out obviously with my um, just big powder brush. We'll take some underneath. I'm gonna take a little bit of Sunny Honey. <laughs> Tropic like it's hot, I meant, sorry. And just whack that right up at the ear. Yeah, it's definitely more like a warmer terracotta sort of sort of feeling. Wow, that's a really nice bronzer for the dual line. Really nice. Do the other side. I am being pretty light with this application. Not too light, but you know, not really, I'm not really touching my face much. I'm being pretty delicate. I always use the big brush for the nose. I don't know why. It's just, I don't have any other brush that I could use. And then the forehead, which is the most, Im well, arguably the most important place for your bronzer because it just, it finishes off the whole look. Now we're gonna go with the powder brush and we're just gonna like blend this all out. So I always take a big, massive powder brush like so and I just whirl it around a bit. There we go, that is how that is looking. I think that's a really nice bronzer. I mean, look, this is what we're, going, what we're working with right now. I like this side a bit more. I feel like this side I've gone my fault completely. I've got a little bit too low, but that's okay. This type looks, it's a really nice bronzer, as you can see, a real like orangey, I don't want to say orange, because it's not orange, but like a warm tone bronzer. Incredibly pretty though. Next we're gonna do blusher and the shades we have are Pink Wink and Pink Sand. So Pink Wink is this hot pink color and Pink Sand is this more neutral toned. I think we're only going with a bit of, what do we want? I feel like a bit of Pink Wink. Literally doing the tightest, tightest, literally doing the tiniest bit of tapping. I'm gonna tap off. I don't wanna go crazy with the blusher, but. Oh, it's definitely there. She's you know she's pretty i like her oh that's quite nice it's nice and pretty i mean look that is how it's looking compared to here that is such a nice pretty blusher i thought it was gonna be really intense and really horrible but that's actually really really nice i know some people say not to do that but i like to smile to see where the apples of my cheeks are and then i can just work it up There we are, that's how we're looking blusher wise. That is so cute, I love that. Such a nice blusher. Not crazy or anything or in your face, even though it is quite a bright color. It just, it's a really nice blusher, I love that. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna take my powder brush again. I'm just gonna make sure it's all seamless and just do a bit of blending. That is how we're looking so far. I'm really, really happy. This is just such a nice base. And finally from this palette, we have the highlighter. So the two highlighter shades we have are Starlight and Satin Sheets. Starlight is the top darker shade and Satin Sheets is down here. 
I'm gonna take satin sheets because I think, I don't know if Starlight would be a bit too dark for me right now, but I'm gonna take the satin sheets and just see how good this is and see if it's, see if it's blinding or what, what we're dealing with because I don't wanna look like the Tin Man today, but I do want pretty highlight. nice it's also a yellow highlighter if you were wondering what kind of color it is very happy with that palette that is just such a nice palette yeah thousand percent would recommend that next i've got mascara so i'm going to be using the too faced better than sex mascara this is the original not the waterproof or anything so just gonna whack some of this on i love the hourglass sort of brush i just think it's such a good applicator as always i never do false lashes so mascara is massively important to me there we are that is quite pretty i like it it's nice and lengthening it's gonna whack a bit more on to really get that volume going look at that that is really pretty i like that a lot i'm a bit picky when it comes to mascaras like they can't be too dry because i hate the way that a dry mascara feels on my lashes and they can't be too liquidy where they're kind of a bit of a mess to deal with. And this is just the perfect amount. I love the consistency of the product. And I'm just, I, I love this brush. I will say the only problem I can, well, I can name about this mascara is that it does smudge. And that is really annoying. But even when I do just my top lashes, I do find that it, it can transfer to underneath my eyes um i don't know why i don't know if that's actually the eyeliner either but i've found in the past it can transfer from time to time but overall it's a really nice mascara it's really voluminous it's really lengthening i really like it and it's such a good good mascara i have a lip gloss and this is the lip injection i don't know what else it's called i think it just says lip gloss but that's that's rubbed off Again, the packaging is so cute. It's this pink, it just smells really, really nice. So I'm gonna use this without lipstick because I don't have a Too Faced lipstick and I think I wanna show you what the gloss looks like on its own anyway. So it is a pink, as you can see. I had the Hangover Too Faced lip gloss on. So I'm just gonna wipe it off with my hand because I don't have any tissues. I would say my lips do look plump, by the way, more than they usually do because my top lip is always smaller than my bottom lip, without, without a doubt. It always has been. And look, they look pretty similar. Take this, I like the dofa, it's a pretty nice dofa applicator. And we're just gonna whack some on. Oh, that is such a nice colour. I forgot the shade of this because I haven't used this in a little while. I was worried. I thought it was gonna be like a real baby pink, like not something I was gonna like. I love this. I am in love with this lip gloss. Look at it, not glitter or anything, which I am kind of getting. Well, I love a glitter lip gloss, but sometimes you just want just a plain color lip gloss, which is like shiny and you don't want glitter sometimes. I think this is such a nice lip gloss. It's not sticky. Like you can see no strings or anything. It's really comfortable. It's cooling because of that lip plumper that's in it, the lip injection. I love this lip gloss. I'm gonna set my face off camera because I don't have any spray from Too Faced. I wanna try their new setting spray, the insurance spray. Set my face with the Rare Beauty setting spray because it's a good one. It doesn't, you know, change your makeup much at all. It just melts it. So yeah, I'm gonna whack this on and then we'll give my final verdict. There we go, makeup is done. This is how we're looking. We've got a nice glowy highlight, bronzer and blush. I think it's a really nice makeup today. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I like it, it's quite nice. Final thoughts. I personally love Too Faced. It is without a doubt that I love this company so much. I think their products are just, they're so, in my opinion, feminine. And I feel like a lot of brands try to be just slick, which I love a slick makeup product, I can't lie. But sometimes I do love a girly feminine packaging with like, details and just delicate pretty details on them i love it and so i just love this brand so much not only because of that but because i think the product quality is also really really good and i just think it's a really underrated brand nowadays people used to be obsessed back in the day with like the chocolate palettes but i honestly think their complexion products are honestly amazing i'll see you guys next time in another video yeah tell me anything down below and i'll see you guys next time go check out last week's video and i'll see you later Bye.
To show you the makeup in natural lighting real quick, this is how we're looking. Pretty nice and glowy. It's just a pretty natural. The hair is frizzy today. It just looks pretty nice and it sits quite nice. So yeah, that's how it looks in natural lighting.